everyone, it's Heidi Fang here and I'm joined with Raiders beat writer Vinny Monsignor. We're going to break down what's happening here at mandatory minicamp with the Raiders as it got underway on Tuesday, last name through Thursday. Lots to break down because this is the first time we're starting to see some of the big names on the field that we're missing during OTAs, which are voluntary. Devontae Adams is back. Yeah. Uh, you know, and it's nice to see him getting to work with Jacoby Myers, somebody that we had the time to speak with today as well, trying to raise the level of play early on here. Yeah. and. You know, Devontae was out here during off-season program. He was a, a constant figure here. He just wasn't on the field. Today was his first day on the field. It didn't make a whole bunch of difference. The offense continued to struggle. Uh, another slow day for the offense. Neither the quarterbacks, Aiden O'Connell or Gardner Minshew, necessarily benefited from having uh, Devontae out there. In fact, I, I only remember a couple throws that were thrown his way, and one uh, was behind him. He made it a point. I forget which quarterback. I think it was uh, Aiden O'Connell uh, to say, I needed it over here, you threw it over here. So it was kind of one of those days. Understandable, this is a really good defense. The Raiders are breaking in an entirely new offense in an unsettled quarterback situation. So that's going to lead to the kind of days uh, like we saw today where the offense was just um, a couple of steps behind the defense. But the energy is there for this team, due in part, uh, largely, I would say, to Antonio Pierce at the helm, holding the reins of this team and really getting them fired up, despite the fact that we are all standing in 110 degree <laughs> heat today. I mean, you know, just what have you seen in terms of the attitude of this team as many camps been underway? Yeah, I mean, there's really a lot to like about this team. We mentioned the defense. Defense is pretty much lights out. You saw on back-to-back -back plays, Max Crosby and Christian Wilkins just blow plays up uh, in the offensive backfield. That's what this defense is able to do. You saw sticky coverage from Nate Hobbs, from Jack uh, Jones to, you know, uh, Brandon Faison uh, had a couple of nice plays. Um, so there's a lot to like. There's a lot to like about the energy. It's absolutely there. There's full buy-in with Antonio Pierce. The one thing is they need better play from their quarterbacks and they need a better offensive uh, performance than last year. It's a team that did not crack 17 points, 10 of the 17 games this year. For the Raiders to reach their ceiling, their offense has to be better. And that starts with the quarterback position. And I know you're not gonna get all the answers right now uh, in minicamp. I know you're not gonna figure out the Raiders, who their starting quarterback is gonna be today. Uh, but it sure would help if one of those quarterbacks took a step forward yeah. uh, in terms of separating themselves from the other. And that didn't happen again today. There's two more days of minicamp before the long break, before uh, training camp. And I'm sure the Raiders want one of these quarterbacks to say, hey, I'm the guy. Uh, just, just focus on me uh, when we get to training camp. I'll take this job and I'll run with it, but neither has just yet. That was literally my next question for you, but that takes me actually to how this offense can improve, some steps that they do need to take. And we're looking at Brock Bowers now as somebody that can line up. We're hearing a lot all over the field um, about the 12 personnel yeah. and how he can fit into that with Michael Mayer. What have you seen so far from Brock Bowers? Because to me, he just seems like a pedigree. Yeah, no, he's he's the ultimate weapon, as is Michael Mayer. Michael Mayer made some nice plays uh, today as well. Uh, you got Devonta Adams. You got Trey Tucker, who looked like he was shot out of a canyon. That dude <laughs> it, can in. Yeah. That dude is faster than he was uh, last year. He just looks explosive. You got Jacoby Myers, who we spoke to today. You got Zamir White. You know, the run game is going to come along in training camp and the regular season. There's no tackling right now, so it's hard to tell. But... Again, it goes back to the quarterbacks. I mean, for those weapons, which there's a whole bunch of them to excel, the Raiders quarterbacks need to do a really good job, especially in the West Coast offense, of getting the ball to their weapons in time and in stride. They struggled to do that today. I'm sure it's going to get better, there's no question. But they needed it to get better because, again, for the Raiders to reach their ceiling this year, they need a better offense and they need their quarterbacks to play better. And it's going to take a little bit of time before uh, they probably see that. And one thing I can't wait for personally is when this team does get to Costa Mesa for two reasons. That's because the sun is literally just beating down on us. It's really hot out here. The second thing is that we're going to be able to see the pads go on and we're going to get to see Christian Wilkins and what he could do because there were some t instances today where I thought he was going to be able just to like wreck and smash, but he did not do that because you have to kind of hold back here in this phase of the off season. But looking forward to when the pads do get on, we'll be with you for all of that throughout and also make sure to keep up with vegasnation.com to keep up with all of the latest on the silver and black as well as the podcast that Vinny and Ed Greeny host because those will come out weekly. Thank you everybody so much for watching.